Hello, what's up people? Dobbs of Wars is right here and welcome to a big massive announcement to a lot of you lot who are collecting Pokemon cards. I'm saying to this now because I want to protect you guys. Don't buy Hidden Fates on the internet. Don't, please, I am begging you. I'm not doing it for my own gain because I don't need to. Why? Because of course I got the most expensive card in the game in that set, so I don't need to buy any more. What I want to really want to talk to you guys about is the amount of high demand that people want for Hidden Fates. And of course you guys know that there is Shining Fates already out and there's another new Charizard in there. But now people are still going insane for Hidden Fates. Now I've got two different versions here. You may be thinking, huh? They are exactly the same. Now this is the thing that's coming a bit weird for a lot of people all over the world. On the internet, Hidden Fates tins, including the Elite Trainer boxes, are going for stupid money. I'm not talking about all oh, a few quid there and then. No, I am talking about extremely over the price value of them. Now, I'm going to tell you truthfully, people, this one right here is the original that came out in 2019. Yes, 2019. This one here is the reprint. Now you may be thinking, how can you tell the difference? Well, this is why I got this light right here. I'm going to turn it up quite a bit higher right now. Now if you look in the light, there's cellophane that goes all the way around it. Okay? This one, on the other hand, has cellophane all over the place and it has a sticker. Now the original one has that sticker. The reprints don't have a sticker. Now you may be thinking, what else can you tell if there's a if there's a difference between them? Well, first off, the date. Now, if you may be thinking, the 2019 tins, they're Easter spot. Now, the reprints sometimes actually do have the 2019 label on it too. But some of them do have the 2020 label on it as well. So if you do find a 2021, you know it is a reprint. But if it says 2019 for some weird reason, that's an error. But... Again, the cellophane will help you out. Now, once again, there are also people out there that are actually uncellophaning them and actually re-cellophaning it to make it look like this as the original. Now, people may be thinking, how can I tell from it then? Easy enough, when you look inside it, there is a massive difference. If you can, to be honest, I can actually see myself underneath the window. Underneath the window, you see cardboard. And I'm going to put a picture here or here. This is the original inside, which I can't really show you right now because I don't have one opened, and I don't want to open up my one because it's too expensive. The inside of the original tin is plastic, but in the new tins, they're cardboard. Now, you can tell as well by the sound. See that? That's the reprint. That's cardboard noise. And this... Can't hear anything. That's plastic because it's proper sturdy. So that's another way you can find out as well. And you may be thinking, why is it so much that you need to tell us, Dobbsy? Why do you want to tell us this? It's because of how stupidly insane are people getting swindled on the internet. I'm talking about people on Amazon. I'm talking about people on eBay, on Facebook Market. It's absolutely disgusting. People are getting swindled buying reprints when the the seller is selling as originals for 70 to 80 to even a hundred pound for a box for a tin sometimes they'll be a little bit cheaper to like 40 quid, 40 quid to 50 quid but look i bought this today i paid 20 pound 99 in waterstones i bought all three all three prints that's literally the charizard the raichu and the gyarados and once again i bought these the original reprint, the original originals, back when they were firstly in stock and these were selling for nothing because it, well, I bought these in Asda, okay? I couldn't buy them in, in Card Empire because this actually, let's just let you guys know, this is not being advertised by Card Empire because this is just a rant and to, just a shout out to you lot to stop buying them on the internet. That I bought these in Asda and Tesco's when they were on offer. I bought everything that they had. They literally, they originally were $22.99, they went down to $18.99, and I bought the whole entire stock because I knew I was never going to see them ever again. And after that I did that, 
I pulled the chalice out and I still had six of these tins left and I've kept them sealed because you'll never see them again as the OG originals. However, for the reprints, you see them everywhere. Card Empire has them. Um, Waterstones has them. Game has them. People from America, you have them as in Target if you still have them there. You have them in um, GameStop. You have a lot of places that do have them. But like I said, they are selling like crazy because they're hidden face. But still though people, I'm just telling you right now, do not even trust the internet at this moment in time because the scalpers, even people who are normal, are selling these for stupid prices. Think about it. I pay $20.99 today in a standard shop. And that people are still selling them to this very day on eBay for 30 to 40 to 50 to even 90 British pounds with even a £3.50 postage. It's annoying me, people, and it sickens me because Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu including Pokemon and Magic Gathering, it was a card game. It was something that was fun. It was for us to enjoy our own time and locking us away from the real world and now it's not it's a massive money scheme because people are know are now knowing that cards nowadays including the charizard including the blue eyes including the dark magician including the awesome amazing artwork secret rares of magic of the gathering they are money investments and people are paying stupid money for, money for these cards because we can't get them because of these stupid arsehole scalpers taking them all and selling them all for stupid money. So all I'm saying right now, I'll put it as a hashtag as well. Stop buying cards on the internet. Don't do it, people, because if you do, you're going to lose your money, you're going to get scammed, and you're not going to get the OGs. If you know you're not going to get the OGs and the guy is actually saying he's selling them as a reprint, Fair enough, but don't go for the ones that are saying that they are selling legit originals. Don't go for them. I've been Domsey Wolves. Stop buying cards on the internet. He's the angry video game nerd.